Hello and welcome to Bruce Springsteen Guitar Lessons. Today's lesson is going to be a live version of Youngstown from High Park 2009. Thanks very much to subscribe star Patrick Dennehy for the request. <music>
and welcome back. Hope you enjoyed that walkthrough. So now what I'm going to do, go through all the individual parts. Okay, so the tempo is approximately uh, 80 BPM for this song, and this key is G minor. Now for Bruce, the tuning, what you're going to do is it's drop D tuning. So you basically tune this E string down to a D. So the E and the D strings should match. It would be an octave apart. Okay, now it's also Bruce puts his capo on fret three, okay? Whereas Nils is in standard tuning. So I, what I did in the walkthrough is I played the kind of Nils intro, which is really cool. Uh, and then basically he repeats a lot of those things later on. Um, cool, so yeah, so Nils is in standard tuning. Bruce is in drop D, capo fret three. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll take a look at the um, chords for um, Nils first. So basically, uh, the tab that I've made for this in Guitar Pro, which we'll be able to get on the website, jsmusicschool.co.uk, in a few days' time, or on, on subscribe star, I've tabbed out all of Nils and uh, Bruce's parts. And I will be transcribing the guitar solo today as well. Okay, cool. So, um, yeah, chord-wise for Nils, you've basically got... It looks like he's playing, again... Without the capo, um, you'd be playing a G minor chord, barring the first fret, G, B, and E string, so it's got a broken E shape. G minor chord, third finger, fifth fret, uh, A, little finger, fifth fret, um, little finger, fifth fret, D. It's like a bro broken G minor chord. And you've also got an F chord, or F over C. Okay, so bar the first fret, B, and E string, middle finger, second fret, G, third finger. Third fret A, little finger, third fret D. So it's an F. And then you've also, I think he's, there's a few shots where you can like, oh yeah, he's doing that chord there. This is a B flat chord. And the idea is obviously they're combining Neil's chord shapes and Bruce's and all the other instruments make it, makes it sound really thick and awesome. So same shape as the F, but now your third finger's on the eighth fret of the A. So it's in a B flat over F chord. So yeah, G minor, F, few others so yeah they're the chords for Nils and then we'll do the chords for Bruce now okay so for Bruce what we've got is basically um, again you can just by watching the HD version on YouTube of this you can just tell that he's got drop D and I think he's playing the first chord like that which is kind of like an E minor 7 chord because of the tuning so playing E minor but instead of playing it on the A and the D you're now playing it on the E and the A strings that produces an E minor so that's um, kind of a G over E chord or the E minor 7 chord. And for the rest of the song, he's kind of just playing a power chord. So it's just the middle finger, third, um, second fret E, third finger, second fret A. And then he's kind of just playing around with, with the open strings. He misses a D string quite a lot. So we'll go through that in a second. So that's the E5 uh, chord there. And you've basically got a D5 chord. Then Bruce likes to play it with his middle finger, second fret G, little finger, third fret B. You play it from the D string, but playing it from the A string also works nicely as well. And you also got a G5 chord. Now, because of the tuning, normally it would be there that he plays it. We've done that in a lot of videos. Uh, because of the tuning, you need to go up a tone with the low E strings. So the third finger, one, two, three, four, five, low E string, then first finger, um, third fret of the B string. And you've got the open D, open G as well. So that's a G5 power chord. Um, and that's pretty much it. So there's not many chords in this song. Uh, it's just the way that, you know, he's picking it, etc. So what we'll do first, we'll go through the Nils parts. So because we're not using the low E string, we can get away with playing it uh, with the capo just stayed on. So we're going to do 10th fret, but imagine with Nils, he doesn't have a capo. So what you're going to do is call little intro riffs, okay? Um, 10 on the D, 10 on the G. Okay, that's for one beat. And then you kind of got 10 on the D, 10 on the G. And then hammer on 10 to 12 on the D. And then 10 on the A string. And then 12, 12. I'm playing that with my third and fourth fingers on the D and the G string. So you got this. Timing wise, one, two, E, and three, and four. The down down up down hammer on up down okay and that this this that riff there that's one bar riff uh, there in all the break sections you're basically doing that either three or four times and ending with this <coughs> what can i call bar eight 
to any of the break sections that you see. Uh, so yeah, I'll put the song structure up on the screen now, so hopefully you'll make sense of everything. So yeah, so all those break sections, you're basically doing that one bar riff, or a slight variation of it, uh, normally you know either twice or four times, uh, or even three times with this at the end. Yeah, so listen to the walkthrough, you can kind of see that clearly, the backing track I've made for this. So, and bar two, another common bar, same sort of thing, but just take off the, the first 10th fret. So you're going to go one, two, and uh, three, and four. Okay, so you're, yeah, you're basically um, doing the same thing there, but just taking off that first 10th fret on the D string. So the first riff again. Second riff. Make sure you got the timer right, because that second riff there, it's one and a half beats. It's one, two, and a three, and four. Then bar three, same as bar one. Then bar four now, you're going to go one, two, and a three, and a four. Sounds like he's doing like a, a hitting that, that tenth for A string twice. Okay, so I just play, I'll call this intro part one. So the first four bars of the song. Okay, cool. So then we're on intro part two. Okay, and now what you're going to do here uh, is going to do that um, the riff that we've done before, kind of the, the second bar riff. Two and three and four. And just do that three times. Third time. You've got this cool little riff that he does. So basically, you're going to bar the tenth fret on the DG and the B strings. I'm going to go up. Up, down, down, and then down up on the A string 10th fret. Uh, and then you've basically got this kind of triplet uh, quarter note rhythm to start with. One, two, three, one, and a kind of like one, two, three, one, one, two, three, three, and a four. It's roughly how it's going. So that's intro part two. Then he varies it for intro part three. So this is. Um, so I'd like to split it up. So you've got 16 bars. Um, so again, the song structure, which will also always be in the description. I've just put this kind of like split bar of D5 and E5, for 16 bars basically. So I'm thinking of intro part one, four times, which we've done. Intro part two, four bars. Now we're doing intro part three, okay? So here, okay, so what you're gonna do, uh, put your third finger 12th fret D, little finger 12th fret G. You're gonna go one and a two E and three and four and. Okay, so 12, 12 D and G string. And then 11, middle finger 11th fret B. Hit the G string as well. One and a two E and. And then go back to the D, um, 12 frets D and G string. So one down, up, up. One down, up, up, down. And then 13th fret A. Then 12, 12 again, 10 on the A, and then back to that double stop. So one and a two and three and four and. Cool, then the next two bars are the same. So again, we're in intro part three. So here, hammer on from 10 to 12 on the A string. One E and two E and. Hammer on, and hit that double stop, and again. Hit the 12th fret D. One E and two E and down, up, up, down. 13th fret A, then 12, 12 D and G. 10th fret A, and do that again. Um, and then you do the same sort of thing. It sounds like he's playing 12, 10. I could be wrong. Rather than 12, 12, this is bar, final bar of intro part three. And then finish on the 12th fret D. So hammer on again, and then play 12, D, 10, G. And then again, hit that again, 12th fret D, 13th fret A, and then back to that 10, 12 thing, and 12th fret D. Cool, and now we're in intro part four. Okay, so then get one, two, three, 
two and a three and four. Okay, so I'm going to do this bar for three times. 10, 10 on the D and the G strings. One, two, and a three and four. For any of you interested, um, without the drop D, it says four shape of the G minor pentatonic. And obviously you'd have the those two as well because of the tuning. Okay, yeah, so four shape of the G minor pentatonic. That's where all these riffs are coming from. So you've got, you want, it's nice to have a bit of uh, reference there. So 10th fret D and G. One, two, and a three, and four. 10, 10 on the D and G strings. Uh, one and a half beats to start with. One, two, and then and uh, down up. 12 on the D, 10 on the A, and down on the uh, 12, 12 on the D and the G strings. Do that bar three times. And then that bar we had before, that little run bar. Yeah, so I, I did that in the video because otherwise I'd be sitting there sort of twiddling my thumbs for the first minute of the song. So I thought I'd play the, the Nils parts there. And again, for the break sections later on, this is, I'll just show you the first break. You're basically going to go three bars. Again, yeah, double check the strong song structure. Um, and then basically, where are we? Second break is just for two bars. Okay, and then you've got the third break, which is for four bars without the run. Bar two. Bar three. Bar four. And then the fourth break, you do the same as you did in the... Um, first break. So the first break again was three bars of that. You probably will vary it up uh, as well. And then that riff. Cool. And then uh, I think the only other break section you have uh, is the fifth break, which is just um, the same as the second break. It's just two bars long. And the rest of it, so um, so the bits, obviously there's quite a few verses, for example, the first verse in the first chorus, there's no guitar. Um, so for either Niels or Bruce, and in the fourth verse, there's no guitar uh, for Niels or Bruce as well. So yeah, um, so look out for that. Again, don't forget any, with the song structure, any chords in brackets means there's what, more than one chord in the bar. Uh, sorry, yeah, in that bar. So yeah, check the description as well. So you can just copy and paste it into a Word document or whatever uh, and print it out. So yeah, all the song structures are in the description. Yes, yeah, so for the rest of the song, uh, just some simple strumming will do. So again, if you want to get hold of the tabs, I've tabbed out all of these. Um, so you can get them some subscribe star or, or the website once they're uploaded to the website. jsmusicscore.co.uk. So again, they're in guitar pro format or in PDF format. If you want either of those, Guitar Pro is great because you can speed it up, slow it down, loop sections, etc. So, so basically, for example, in the second verse, um, you know, what I've got is just some simple strumming here. One, two, three, and four. So two quavers, eighth notes, so two eighth notes, or uh, one, down strokes, another down stroke, and then um, two semi quavers, or eighth, uh, sixteenth notes, one, so for the rest of the song, pretty much this two-beat pattern you can do with the chords. One, two, three, four, so this is the second verse. So when Bruce is playing an E5, Niels will be playing a G, this G minor chord, so it syncs up because of the tuning and the capo. So two bars for G minor, one bar for the F, and then split bar for one. the second part of that second verse. Two bars of G minor. F, and then you've got two, two, four bar of F, F, O, C. One, two. So only two beats in that bar there, and then G minor for four beats. Yeah, so you feel free to, it's quite difficult to hear exactly what strumming is doing, but something like that will be, um, you know, I'm kind of in the backing track, I'm kind of going, 
kind of picking more of the mm. bassier notes on that second strum. One, two, and three, four. Or you could even, um, the third verse, for example, I've got it going like this, just one strum at the start. One, two, and a. So a crotchet or a quarter note at the start. One, two, and a three, four, and a F. G minor. F major. Bar two, four, one. And then you double that up. B flat. F. F. G minor. F. F. G minor. Yeah, and apart from the breaks, just do some nice, simple strumming. And obviously, I will be going through the crazy solo later today and tomorrow. So the solo video will be on subscribe, so on Patreon probably tomorrow evening. Okay. Um, so any questions about subscribe, so just let me know in the comments. Okay, cool. So yeah, that's pretty much uh, Neil's parts. Again, so um, apart from the crazy solo, it's just quite minimal. Um, a lot of the, so you know, the sounds in this song are coming from that nice ac accordion. Um, and it's the combination of all the instruments. So you've got some s Roy doing some synth there as well. Okay, so that's Neil's kind of parts. And so now what we'll do is just go for Bruce's. So for the, in the intro, you know, you're counting one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And he does nothing for quite a while. Okay, so you've got the kind of E minus seven. You can just strum on the very first chord. One, two, three, four. And again, so you've got that kind of, um, that 16 bars intro that we did with Niels. Um, so that's the intro. And then you've got the first verse where he's just singing with, you know, the violin, accordion, synth. You've got the first verse. Uh, and in the song structure, I just put the chords that are kind of in the background there. So you've got the first verse. Again, you've got uh, eight bars there. So you've got a four-bar phrase done twice. And the first chorus, you've got a, a one, two, three, four-bar phrase. Don't look out for the bars of two, four as well. So bars two, four basically means there's two beats in a bar rather than four beats in a bar. So in that first chorus, for example, you've got uh, no guitar, but the, the keyboards or whatever um, synths will be playing a... D5, E5, half a bar of G5, so two beats, and then D5, okay? And then you've got the first break, so that's when Niels will come back with that. Um, okay, and then the whole band are in, in this kind of first break. So again, Bruce will be, when I was watching him play, and like in a lot of other videos, he's just really improvising all the time. So this is just a foundation, and feel free to embellish it and change it up, because if I was to play this live, I wouldn't play it exactly how I've written it. I would use this as a foundation and just mess around with it as long as it's in time. So E5, I would kind of, this is how I suggested the first break to go. Okay, so you've got the E5, kind of play down up strokes on the E and the A strings or just on the E, or just on the E and the A if you want. And then down up on the E and the B. So then don't be concerned if you hit the G string. Feel free to change it up because it will just make it more varied as well. So Bruce is not doing the same thing, you know, throughout the song. He's just changing it up. As long as you've got the chords there and it's in time, go for it. So that's the first break. You're just going to go one and two and three and four and four bars. Okay. Okay. And now the second verse where the whole band's in, you're going to carry on. So this is the structure of the second verse. Two bars of E5. So two bars of that and then... And D5, you can do the same sort of thing. You don't have to do the same thing all the time. One and two and three and four and... You know, can, once you've got that rhythm, you could then just change it to something else. One, four, one and two and... Play it, maybe strum it a little bit more if you wanted to. Uh, so here, I've just suggested if you just wanted to do something that's just the same all the time. Uh, get your D5 ready and then just go D string. D, G, B, G, D, G, B. free to embellish it and in the fourth bar the second verse you've got half bar of d5 and then e5 okay cool so then that's the first um, um four bars of the second verse okay and then what you've got uh the next line of the second verse you've got e5 again so two bars of that e5 d5 
half of bar, bar of two four of the D5, and then a whole bar of E5. Cool, so let me just play the um, uh, whole of that second verse. So E5, two bars, D5, half bar of D5, E5, and then E5, two bars again, then fill. So mix it up, D5, half bar of D1, two, one, two, three, four. Cool, so that's the second verse, and now we're onto the second chorus. Second chorus, D5. E5. And then G5 for half a bar, so 2, 4. 1, 2, and then D5, whole bar. 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, so this, this chorus is pretty straightforward. That second chorus, and the second chorus, third chorus, and fourth chorus, all exactly the same. So it's a four bar phrase. Uh, the third bar is, is a bar of two four, so two beats. So just do that second, third, and fourth choruses. So D5, E5, E5, G5, D5. Cool. So again, just keep double checking with the song structure. And then the second break, you've just got E5. When uh, Niels is doing that, Bruce will just be doing simple E5 melody. Yeah, so the second break, let's just go through the break. So the second break is just two bars of the E5. Third break is just four bars of the E5. Um, and then, where are we? Fourth break. Uh, the fourth break, I don't think you're playing anything in that one. Let me just double check. So, yeah. So the fourth break, you're not playing any, Bruce isn't playing anything, but Niels carries on with the. So it's all bringing it back down, and then in the fourth verse, you don't do anything. Okay, yeah, so then the fifth break, you just do it twice. So keep double checking with the tab and the song structure. So we just did the um, second verse and then the second chorus, the second break. So third verse, uh, so the third and fifth verses are slightly different. So we're going to do here G5 half a bar, D5, so the G5 bar. Let's pick it as the same kind of style as you're doing with the D5. E, G, B, G. Again, feel free to change it up. Let's do it slightly different every time if you want. As long as you've got the kind of, you know, half the bar right and in places, it doesn't really matter too much how you pick it. So G5, D5, D5, E5, D5, a bar of two, four here, one, two, and then E5. And these are one, two, three, four, five bars are done twice. So G5, D5, bar two, D5, E5, bar three is D5, bar four is up. Two, four, uh, D5, one, two, E5. Cool, and then you're on the third chorus, same as the second. Uh, then you've got the third break, which is just the E5 for four bars. Fourth break, do nothing, while Niels does the... All that cool stuff. Fourth first, again, it's just, there's no guitar in this bit, okay? And then um, the fourth chorus, okay? So the fourth chorus, exactly the same, second and third. Okay, and then you've got the fifth break for two bars, E5. And then you've got the fifth verse. So the fifth verse is very, very similar to that third verse. Okay, so I'll just start that again. So the fifth verse, G5, D5, D5, D5 E5, D5. And then two, D5, 2, 4, 1, 2, E5, two bars this time. Gigantic guitar solo. Yeah, so that third, fifth verse, uh, again, very similar to the third verse. The only issue there is the third verse was done kind of twice, whereas this time you're just kind of doing one round, but do an extra bar of E5. Okay, so again, just look at the patterns in the song structure. Cool, so then we've got the, the massive guitar solo, which I'll be going through later uh, today and tomorrow. So what we've got uh, chords behind the guitar solo. Let's go through that. So you've got D5, then E5, then half 
half of our G5, half of our D5, bar 2, 4, D5, 1, 2, E5, whole bar. That's the first line of the guitar solo. The second line of the guitar, uh, guitar solo is done twice. Again, to look out for any repeats there. Uh, so you've got D5, sign up exactly the same way. E5, G5, D5, bar of D5, 2, 4, 1, 2, and then two bars of E5 rather than one. So that's the only difference in this second line of the. Uh, these were all repeated. Again, so it's the second line of the uh, guitar solo, done twice. Bar one, bar two, half bar G5, half a bar D5, uh, two four bar of D5, one, two, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. The third line of the guitar solo is the same as the first, but without the E5 at the end. Okay, so just go through that third line of the guitar so it's the best way i like doing things just breaking it up into chunks and then linking it all together and always look for kind of patterns that are same okay so it's the third line of the guitar solo d5 e5 half bar g5 bar 2 4 1 2 okay so now what we're going to do this is the kind of real big build up with nils um, and you're going to do basically 12 bars, like Max is kind of on the floor, Tom, the snare, like building up slowly uh, for 12 bars, okay, before the massive crescendo at the end. Um, okay, so you're basically just doing E5, 12 bars, okay, massive build up. Okay, and then you've got the, the final part of the song, um, which is basically same as line three, okay, so you've got the D5. Yeah, D5. E5. G5. D5. Above 2, 4, 1, 2. And I'll do that kind of E minus 7 when you juggle the strings. And it kind of like quite a noisy kind of ending. Uh, and it kind of fades out. Cool. So, yeah, there are all the parts. Again, it's quite simple in terms of, um, apart from obviously Neil's solo, which is crazy, and the actual structure of the song. And the chords you're playing are fairly straightforward. Again, obviously, it depends whether you're, you know, if you're doing a band situation, one of you, the way it works so well together is one of you is in drop D for Bruce, playing these different shapes. So when, you know, when, I, when Bruce is playing that D5, Nils will be playing an F chord. You know, when Bruce is playing a, a, a G5, Nils will be playing a G minor. Yes, yeah, so when Bruce is playing an E5, he was playing an E minor, and when Bruce is playing a G chord, uh, Niels would be playing a B flat. Okay, and that's why how it syncs together so nicely. So yeah, so I hope you've enjoyed the video. Please give it a thumbs up. Uh, if you've enjoyed any comments or suggestions, feel free to let me know in the comments section below. Um, it's a really awesome live version. I was actually seeing Blur at Glastonbury during this performance, but I saw, got to see Bruce on the night before 2009 at Glastonbury and Neil Young on a Friday, so yeah, uh, I'm a big Blur fan, so I didn't want to kind of leave Glastonbury and my willies and come to say Bruce when I've seen him on the Saturday night, but it looked like this was a great show. Um, yeah, so I hope you've enjoyed the video. Please give it a thumbs up. Again, any questions about subscribe stars, if you need the tabs, so I make all my videos, the uh, tabs in Guitar Pro, which is a brilliant program, so you can get all the files in all the tabs of so Bruce's parts, Neil's parts, including the solo, which I'm doing later today. They'll be available from the website, jsmusicscore.co.uk, uh, probably tomorrow evening. Um, so it's normally the day after all the videos are done. Uh, or subscribe star, where you can just get files sent to your email every third of the month. So uh, including the backing tracks as well. So you can get all the backing tracks I've made. I've done well over 50 now. But thanks very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. See you next time. Cheers. Bye. If you'd like to get Guitar Pro files, tab PDFs, backing tracks from any of these tutorials, head over to either the Subscribe Star page or my website, jsmusicscore.co.uk. Remember to subscribe and hit that bell icon for notifications. Thanks very much. See you on the next one.